three things that leaders can do to foster a culture of learning or learning while doing in the workplace are one, setting the stage. It's like, what is what do we value and what behaviors does that entail? Uh, so, so not just communicating that once, but communicating that all the time and, and, and reminding people because leaders are nine times more likely to be perceived as under communicative than over communicative. So we, we communicate a lot less than we think it's necessary for people to really change, rewire their brain, right? People need to, um, have these thoughts on a regular basis and then neurons that wire together, that fire together, wire together. So we reconfigure our brain, but that requires kind of spaced repetition. Uh, so that's setting the stage in number one. Number two is setting up the systems and habits to improve. And we could talk about lots of examples of that in different companies. But what do you want people to be doing to, to perform and to improve? And what are the systems and tools and habits uh, that we want to foster? And third is model learning. Often leaders feel like they need to have all the answers and to act like knowers. Uh, they, they then they get perceived as know-it-alls. And then when people, even if they talk about the value of learning, even if they do engage in learning on their own when other people aren't watching, you know, the behaviors, act, you know, speak louder than the words. So people see them as know-it-alls. And so they start uh, behaving like know-it-alls as well. 